A. Lou Glenn. Well, that's right. The candidates are making their final sprint, closing arguments. Last dance. I'm running out of ways to say it, but the fact of the matter is that the end of this election is finally upon us. The latest national polling has Hillary Clinton slightly ahead of Donald Trump, but of course, the election is won state by state, and that's why both are blanketing battlegrounds in the 11th hour. With less than 24 hours until voters head to the polls, Hillary, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are making their final tour through important swing states. Tomorrow is the election, but that is just the beginning. We have to heal this country. We have to bring people together, listen and respect each other. The Democratic nominee stumping today in the crucial toss-up of North Carolina, also going to Michigan and Pennsylvania where Clinton's lead has narrowed in recent weeks. President Obama, one of Clinton's biggest assets on the trail, appearing in Michigan and North Carolina before joining Hillary Clinton, former President Bill Clinton, and First Lady Michelle Obama for a Philadelphia rally. This is the last day of our campaign. Who would have believed this? Trump going the distance in five different states. Pennsylvania and Michigan, plus Florida, North Carolina, and New Hampshire. Still reverberating across the campaign trail, FBI Director James Comey's letter to Congress Sunday, saying the agency has completed its review of newly discovered Clinton emails and found nothing to change their conclusions from July, reiterating that Hillary Clinton should not face criminal charges. Both campaigns reacting to the late news. We're glad to get that news, but not surprised. Nobody in this room can believe what's going on with the FBI and what's going on with the Department of Justice. Folks, the system is rigged. It's rigged, okay? Now, there is actually a path to victory, albeit a narrow one, for Donald Trump. He has to flip a state that has been traditionally blue, say like Michigan, with its 16 electoral votes. That's where Trump has gained some ground in recent weeks, and it's why both he and Clinton have renewed focus on the Great Lakes state. Lou Glenn, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, John. Of course, we'll have.